Welcome back to another edition of Retro Geek, where we only bring you the finest, most classic, most amazing multimeters of days gone by. We're trying to spotlight something really special. This is a uh, old meter. When I say old, I'm not kidding. This thing is over 50 years old, 51 to be exact. This is a Weston 4440. This was a solid meter for its time, uh, that being basically early 70s. Considered maybe an entry-level digital multimeter at the time, they were made by, get this, Schlumberger, who actually owned Heathkit. Oh yeah, politics even in the world of multimeters. But Weston meters were marketed to industry folks, professional gear. In a nutshell, Weston uh, meters were basically sold to industry, a professional gear you might want to call it. And Schlumberger also made a Solartron digital meters, which are considered among some of the best lab meters ever made. They're like tanks, built like freaking tanks. Uh, check them out. Oh, they're so cool. This is one of my favorite oldies in my um, collection, the Weston 4440, a 1972 model, beautifully made. I mean, just look at it, gorgeous, with that oh so gorgeous vintage blue, uh, three and a half digits, uh, a very small original style light emitting diode display. Uh, it does DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, and even has its own battery tester. And this one also does microamps and milliamps, so current as well, oh, awesome. And if that wasn't enough, it even has its own battery test mode. Look at this, you just put it into battery mode. There we go, test battery. Now anything less than 4.6 volts is considered not so good. And there we are. We're it originally came with um, rechargeable NICADs. Oh, but thankfully this one runs on standard alkaline batteries, no problemo. This was definitely a piece of kit to have had back in the day. And this thing was a fortune back then. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this sold for uh, like $500 US. So yeah, it was a crazy amount of money back in the day. Hey, that's still a crazy amount of money. Some previous models as well that had the Nixie tube displays, all of them, including the 4440, uh, extremely reliable. A quality they share uh, with lots of portable meters of the era. So these things were not only built like tanks, but they were built to last as well check this out this is the Weston instructions slash part list part list good luck trying to find that on a multimeter manual these days man oh man look at that copyright 1972 51 years ago Weston Schlumberger this thing is old so this is a really really nice uh, manual actually here are the uh, this is what you get with the meter in the box you had your test leads the bench meter, of course, and it did come with a plug as well. Now, I did get the plug and I can't find it. I do apologize. Um, it does have a weird wonky sort of a connector in the back, uh, which is a little flaky, but uh, yeah, I was really hoping I could find it for the review, but alas, it was not manual to be. goes into a lot of detail, an incredible amount of detail. And they're giving you all of the specs. Here we are in the voltage range. Look at plus minus uh, 0.3% plus one digit. Whoa. So, uh, you know, if you have a 12 volt uh, reading, really, you're either going to get 12.03 volts or 11.97. That's it. I mean, that's fairly accurate for a meter that's half a century old. My goodness. You know, I got to dwell on this because this is just, you know, a museum piece, this manual. A dimensional drawing. Are you going to get dimensional drawings these days? Of course not. Um, here we have the battery operation. Now, this originally came with four nickel cadmium rechargeable batteries. And thank goodness you don't need those to power the meter. No, you can also power it via, via the AC plug it shipped with or just for regular alkaline batteries which is what i've got powering it today awesome front view back view the whole nine yards i mean i swear to god i could do a review just on the meter manual itself and oh yeah of course of course look at that look at the schematic they're giving you a pull out schematic lower board lower board assembly flip it over the upper board assembly schematic diagrams the whole nine yards man oh man schlumberger 
Weston, we love you. What an amazing attention to detail. Here's the actual batteries the unit shipped with. Gold alkaline NICAD rechargeable batteries. 50 freaking years old. Ah, amazing. Now, guess what? I actually have one here in the charger. I don't think it's going to charge, but I'm, I'm going to try. I'll let you know what happens with that. Oh, yeah, and as you can tell, there was a lot of nitty-gritty on those batteries. Thank heavens the compartment is sort of separated from the rest of the meter, so nothing got into the uh, uh, assembly board itself, so that was nice and clean. Thank heavens, so. Eh, that's what happens when you keep batteries in a meter for half a century. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a mess. Uh, surprisingly, that 50-year-old battery is charging. We're at 4% right now. So far, so good. Wouldn't that be weird? Now, here's something that's really cool. It looks like a standard input jack, but believe it or not, there is a fuse there. That's the milliamp fuse. Now, to access that, wow, Weston, Bloomberger, you've thought of everything. On the side here, we have the two retaining screws to the chassis. Just undo one of those screws, just like so, and that's going to act as a little screwdriver, believe it or not. And then you can open up the fuse assembly like so and yeah there is that milliamp fuse amazing wow yeah i'm curious is that fuse any good oh still going strong love it by the way in terms of current hey don't expect too much uh, yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't do a lot. 199.9, basically 200 microamps in DC or AC. Uh, overload protection up to 30 milliamps, so <laughs> not much going on. Let's take a little far away, foray into resistance land. Look at that 100 ohm precision resistor. 100.1 coming up on the Weston. And if we put these test leads together, Absolutely no resistance on the test leads. Wow, amazing, good stuff. Hey, you know what? The standard is actually older than the Weston by three years. This was uh, tested back in uh, November 69. Oh, wow. You guys are like almost related. Let's try a five ohm resistor. I'm sorry, a 0.5 ohm resistor. And yeah, come in as 0.4. Just one under the radar. I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, I never would have thought it actually was true, but believe it or not, I was able to recharge that 50 year old uh, nickel cadmium battery. 99% is where I got. So let's see if we're gonna get 1.5 volts out of this here battery. Oh, that would be very cool, wouldn't it? All right, the moment of truth. 50 year old rechargeable battery. 1.5 volts. Absolutely awesome. Amazing. Whoa. <laughs> oh man. Gotta love technology. This meter was also designed for calibration. Uh, to calibrate the Model 4440, the adjustments are accessible without encasing. You don't have to take the cover off. AC gain pod is on the rear with the balance of the adjustments accessible when the dial plate is removed. So. Man, oh, love it. So to access that uh, battery housing, simply pull it out like so. And uh, there is that compartmentalized enclosure for those uh, four batteries, those four C cells. You can tell, once again, really protected. So even if they did leak, it's not gonna cause any issues with the PCB inside. And the neat thing is, look at that, it just slides off like so. And that's where your batteries go. Isn't that cool? It's so simple, but so smart. Man, I love it. I love that whole idea here. It's just, oh, and this thing is solid, by the way. Solid, weighs a pretty penny. And uh, there we are on the inside. Oh man. Now, unfortunately, I just cannot pry the PCB out. It's a shame, but I really don't wanna use too much pressure because, you know, it's a classic. It really is a museum piece and I just don't wanna destroy it. But here's the lower board assembly, the top assembly. And uh, if you take a peek, you can pretty well see that this thing was just loaded with components. I mean, they are packed in there like there's no tomorrow. And if you're wondering, uh, right here, that is the AC pot for the calibration. 
So it's just loaded with capacitors, uh, Zener diodes, uh, switch assembly, the transformers way down in there, resistors. Uh, yeah, just tons of good old 50 year old components. Yummy. By the way, that flashing LED you see, it probably is flashing, but in reality it's not. It's a steady on. It's just because of the camera uh, that we're getting that blinking effect. But in reality, it ain't blinking. I, I think. No, it's not blinking. Hope you enjoyed this little stroll down vintage memory lane. You, me, and the West End Schlumberger 4440. Boy, this has been a lot of fun. And it just goes to show you that even after half a century, these test instruments can still be as good as the day they rolled out the factory floor.